Why am I still getting notifications for people I blocked? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, dumpster divers, and welcome back to a new episode of There's No Hot Water in My Apartment, so I had to go shower at the gym. And welcome back to another holiday anti holiday. We'll workshop it. All right, so for any of you that don't know, an anti haul is basically an answer to the ghost in the corner of my room. Jesus, what the fuck? Basically, an anti haul is an answer to the over consumerism that is forced upon us in a capitalist society and it's just a hyperbolic tongue-in-cheek way to be like this is what i'm not gonna buy instead of like creating that culture where you it, especially in the doll collecting community where you have to buy 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 and if you're a scalper sell 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 which also rhymes with hell which is where all you scalpers are going if you don't knock it off and i hope you lose your house Period. so today we're just going to talk about stuff we don't want to buy and one of the first things I don't want to buy is the Goo Pay Barbie dolls. And I'm sorry if that pronunciation isn't correct. It's the one I looked up online, and I'm going to try my best. So these are always pretty until you get up close. Then you start to realize they're very overpriced fashionistas that just happen to have some embroidery. And it's just not my jam. I... I don't really care. They're always super expensive. They're always super hyped up. And then I'm just not that into them, you know? But ultimately, they are beautiful dolls. They're just not really, for me, the exclusivity and, like, obtaining them is kind of annoying. And I don't know. I just, like, it's a bummer. They were also in charge of, like, that golden yellow gown doll that's, like, $200. And for what, like... That's shit you could have got from Barbie for, like, 75 not even, like, five years ago. And so it's $200. Um, that's... No, we're not doing that. We're not playing this game. Like, I'm so sick of Mattel just throwing whatever fucking price point they want out. And then, like, expecting people to get it. And the worst part is people do. And then you get it. And then what do you do with it? Like, some of these collectors, I'm like, you spent $200 on her. Are you happy? Was it worth it? Like, have you done anything with it since you put it on the shelf? Like... You know, it's just, it's a lot. Like, what are you doing? You know? Easier said than done. So the next dolls I'm thinking of anti-hauling are the My First Barbie dolls. Like, they're fine. They're cute. Obviously, I'm not the target audience. It's very much for younger. They have, like, the soft bodies and everything. And they, I don't know, they just look a little corny, a little cheese ball with all the printed on details and everything. Which, honestly, you could have just given them, like, basic clothing that was easy for them to dress without putting on all those shitty printed-on details. But like I said, I'm not the target audience. This isn't for me. I would like to feel how one of them feels with, like, their soft-touch body or whatever. But that's it. Um, one thing I do appreciate about them is because of the soft-touch body, they all look like they're actually well-fed. And that is fantastic. So... That's cute, but yeah. Um, they come with some cute little sets, though, like the little tea party set, the little trundle bed. Like, that's adorable. But I'm just not the target audience, and I'm just not super duper filling them. Um, if they go on clearance, I might grab one, but and they more than likely will. Which brings me to my next point for this anti haul full price rainbow high. There's literally no point. They are mass produced. Uh, the only thing that ever seems to have like a super limited run is anything that is numbered. Other than that, like you can still get yourself a Lily Chang doll right now. You can still get yourself a Paris Hilton doll right now. You can still get yourself um, the Dia de los Muertos doll, which woof. And you know, like there's no point in paying them. And if you're on Amazon, Walmart, Target right now, every single one of those bitches is on sale or clearance even like i have the storm twins coming for like 20 bucks i got ainsley for like 20 bucks i got uh some of those uh rainbow vision diva girls for like 15 dollars. like and i just had to wait and honestly unless you're a content creator you don't need to be buying these the second they come out it is so much more beneficial for you to just wait around and i know that's hard but, like, th there's no reason to even have FOMO with Rainbow High. Like, I remember when those Sleepover Girls came out, and, like, everybody was having a super hard time finding Marissa Golding. And now that bitch is on my shelves, just sitting there collecting dust. Like, obviously they were going to be restocked and everything. It's just the first wave you might have missed out on. But they ended up showing up. And that's just one of the things I need to tell myself. Because where these guys are getting up, 
like past the hundred dollar price point at this point there's no reason not to just wait around this isn't mattel creations where they have like shit infrastructure and everything is sold to scalpers and they don't care like mga they're making these dolls come out the way they come out and you can get them on clearance and it's pretty quick they have a pretty fast cycle um because Almost all of the Mermaids Series 1, it hasn't even been a year yet, all of those are already on clearance, and, like, clearance, clearance, like $12 versus, like, the $30 price point. And even still, I don't want them. So, for the next thing I want to anti-haul, the dolls are pretty, and I want the accessories. The outfits I could give two shits less about. And because of that... I can easily wait for them to go on sale because Barbie Rewind dolls always go on sale. Remember the first three 80s girls that constantly were changing prices? Like, they got down to like $19, I think, or something. You know, and that's something I need to consider. Like, and I love the Barbie Rewind dolls. They are using face sculpts I absolutely love. They have articulation I really love with the bend and snap knee and the weird fashionista articulation on top. I'm really into it. So I can wait, but the accessories in these girls, I want them so bad. The faces are fine too. They're definitely very nostalgic face sculpts, but I can wait and so can you. Why are you breathing so hard? Okay guys, don't take away my gay collector card for this, but obviously we haven't even seen what she looks like, but I don't give a shit about the Mariah Carey holiday doll. I have never been a Mariah Carey fan because of her stank ass attitude. And she has talent, she has range, everything, that song um, that is constantly playing right now. And I get it, because it's like a meme and she's very self-aware of it, and that's great. And if she humbled herself more and could take herself less seriously like she does with this, that would be fantastic. But for $75 for Mattel, it'll probably be semi-pretty, like the Gloria Estefan doll. And then that'll be it, and then I'll go on clearance because it's a seasonal holiday doll, but everybody will buy it up, sell it out, and then scalpers will turn around and sell it for like $500, at least try to. And I'm just not enough of a Mariah Carey fan to get into it. Just never have been. She's never been my favorite. Now, if like Mattel would get off their ass and make like a Lady Gaga doll, and not Zombie Gaga, Every time I bring up Lady Gaga, they're like, well, we had Zombie Gaga. And I was like, yeah, for five minutes. A Lady Gaga doll. Britney Spears. Fuck. Miley. I love Miley Cyrus. Rihanna. Like, come on. Also, I asked you guys on Instagram. I was like, hey, what are we anti-hauling? And a lot of you were like, those fidget friend dolls? I like them. I think they're cute. Like, obviously, they're not like Barbie or like Rainbow High fashion dolls. But they're fashion dolls and they're fidgety and they're fun. And the mermaids slay, honestly. Like, I think they're super cute. So, like, it's funny that, like, so many people are, like, against them, but I'm actually really into them. They're, like, 20 bucks at Walmart right now, which is not a lot, especially for, like, articulation and all the accessories and fidget stuff and everything. So, another thing you guys mentioned, and I completely agree, is all of these Monster High reproductions. Like, they are just a giant pain in the ass to get as I'm looking at my scalper pricing, uh, haunt couture cleo denial back there i get it like this is absolutely ridiculous honestly i blame the mattel creations website also and mattel's distribution everything like i just blame mattel like mattel's like a huge problem in the doll community they need to do better they need to give us more options we need to be able to buy the dolls we can buy they need to show up in stores because if they're only online they just sell out way too quickly and then people can't ever get them for retail pricing and it's getting absolutely barbaric out there being a doll collector and all these exploitative prices and everything like it's how's that fair how's that fair to anybody doll collecting or not like and i don't care like how much money you have not everybody has that much money not everybody can afford stuff like that and even to get like an affordable barbie doll right now um outside of fashionistas because fashionistas for the price point i'm like pretty down to clown with but everything else it is astronomical like barbie her prices have shot up. Like, stuff that Mattel Creations is charging, like, $100 for right now is stuff we could have got, shit, 10 years ago for 50 or less, you know? And it's so easy to blame everything, like, inflation and 
you can do that when you're not reporting record profits, you know? And I understand, like, Mattel has their shareholders. They have to keep happy or whatever. But it's a lot. And it just kind of elitist when I hear other doll collectors, like, shitting on people for complaining about Mattel. Because our dollar doesn't go as far with Mattel as it goes with MGA. And I've talked about this before on my channel and in anti hauls. $25 from MGA versus $25 from Barbie are two completely different monsters. And it is getting absolutely ridiculous. And if you're like a Barbie slash Mattel apologist. Stop it. Get some help. If you're in the doll collecting community, understand where people are coming from, that it is getting absolutely unachievable. When was the last time you guys saw me like super duper unbox something on my channel? Not for a while because it's expensive. It's getting expensive. It is so much cheaper for me to just sit here and cuss into my camera and talk about problems in the doll community. These are like real things that you need to tell yourself because if you're out there spending $200 on a, um, Gao paid doll that um, has a yellow dress. That's great that you can afford that, but not everybody can. And like those details, like I said, that's like shit that was like a bottom level collector level at one point. And now we're charging $200 or those Mark Ryden dolls. Absolutely fabulous. But $500 maxed out pricing like that is insane. And they basically just look like fashionistas. I know they have like silkstone um, material and everything, and it's like a famous artist, but it's still absolutely ridiculous. And they sold out too. People paid that. They looked at two fashionista ass looking dolls and were like, yeah, $500? Easy. That's not a problem. And then Mattel and their fucking psycho ass brain, they're like, yeah, cool. That validates it. We can keep charging that. We can keep throwing prices at everything. And I, I remember talking about this on my channel a while ago, but their uh, fucking CEO, that sexy, like, Yvonne uh, Cries guy, or whatever his name is, um, remember when he was sitting there saying it doesn't matter what price point we put it at, they're gonna buy it no matter what? Yeah, asshat, garbage, filth, monster. And I don't know, it's... It's okay to be a fan of Barbie, and it's okay to love Barbie and want to spend money on Barbie, but it's not okay to sit there and suck the dick of a corporation, so knock it off. And then finally, for this anti-haul, <laughs> they're not even out yet, and it's these fucking Disney princess bitches. Like, what was the point, Mattel? What was the point of you getting the license if you were just going to do exactly what Hasbro did? Like, at least Hasbro on the first two launches, maybe three, it was at least like full cloth clothing, not just molded on tops. Like, I would not be surprised if a couple of sets down the road, either like Mattel loses the license again and it goes to somebody else, but I would not be surprised if like a couple runs down, they're just gonna start taking away their hair. They're, they're gonna start giving them molded on plastic shoes that can't come off. And they're basically just gonna become action figures with like a piece of shitty paper cloth as a skirt. I'm not, I would not be surprised. They already barely have the articulation. They have their horrible, like, World War II articulation, which they shouldn't be having, where they can only move their shoulders one direction, which I'm not even going to make the, like, positioning that the arms can do, because, no. And, and I hate that. They shouldn't be doing that. When you have the full range of articulation in the shoulder, it becomes less um, offensive, first of all. But also, like, it's part of the five points. So when they're doing, like, literally this, like, articulation where they can't, you know, they're just not even trying. And it's stupid. And, yeah, I would not be surprised if they just basically turned into action figures at some point. Because um, half of the Barbie color reveal bitches, they just have molded on plastic hair. And I understand it's because they have a water gimmick. Girl the fuck up. I don't fucking care. Barbies have always had hair, and they've always gone in water. We boil, rinse, and wash our Barbies hair. I, I don't want to hear excuses for it. And obviously this hasn't happened yet in the Disney Princess line, but it has happened with Barbie. 
where she is getting incredibly action figure and she's starting to look like a knockoff version of herself. And I know some of the excuses for the Disney princesses looking that way is because they're supposed to be for little kids and they're easy to dress. And then if they start coming with molded on plastic shoes, which Hasbro was doing by the way, so it's not that far fetched that Mattel's going to jump on it too. People can argue it's because, oh, that way the children don't lose the shoes or possibly choke on them. Well, we've had shoes on dolls for like ever. I'm just tired. I'm tired of things getting more and more expensive, but the quality isn't keeping up with those price points. You can't give me a $25 doll with $10 quality. You need to give me a $25 doll with $25 quality. And if that means that it has the same quality that a Barbie Playline doll had in like 2005, but now it costs 25 instead of 15, that's fine, but I need the quality to match the price point. All right, guys, welcome to an anti-haul where I get really mad about plastic and then complain about corporations. All right, guys, I will see you in my next episode where I'm not getting interrupted by a semi-truck coming through my parking lot. <laughs> U.S. Foods.